Hello everyone, welcome and let's provide the solution given this nice algebra problem which is p multiplied by p multiplied by p plus p is equal to 10. So what is the value of p? Now solution, eh? we have that p multiplied by p multiplied by p, this is equal to p raised to power 3, okay, plus p, this is equal to 10, okay. Now, from our equation here, 10 can be expressed as 8 plus 2, okay? So let's substitute this, eh? so that now we are going to have p raised to power 3 plus p, that is p cubed plus p, subtract 10, this is equal to, to 0, okay? Now we substitute 8 plus 2, which is 8 and 2, so that you have p raised to power 3 plus p, subtract 8, subtract 2 this is equal to, to 0 okay now we can express 8 8 can be expressed as 2 cubed or 2 raised to power 3 so that now we are going to have p raised to power 3 plus p subtract 2 cubed minus 2 this is equal to, to 0 okay now we can we, com we can combine p raised to power 3 and 2 raised to power 3 because they have common powers so that we are going to have p raised to power 3 subtract 2 raised to power 3 plus p subtract 2 this is equal to, to 0 all right now as you can see this part here this is actually the difference of two cubes the difference of two cubes which is expressed as a minus b a squared plus a b plus b square b squared okay now in our case we have p cubed subtract 2 cubed which you can express as p subtract 2 then p squared plus 2 p plus 2 squared which is equal to 4 okay now we're going to have p squared plus 2 p okay plus 4 okay then p minus 2 plus p minus 2 this is equal to 0 okay so let's proceed so as you can see we have p minus 2 p squared plus 2p plus 4 and then plus p minus 2 now p minus 2 actually is common so we factor out p minus 2 into the bracket we'll have p squared plus 2p plus 4, plus 1, this is equal to 0, okay? Now, from here, you find that P subtract 2, we have two parts now. We have the first part that actually P minus 2 is equal to 0, and that shows that the first value of P, that is P1, is equal to 2, okay? Is equal to 2, that's the first value of P. Now, let's proceed to solve the second part which is actually p squared plus 2p plus, this is 4 plus 1, which is 5, this is equal to, to 0, right? So this is a quadratic equation, okay? Whereby we have that our a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 5, okay? All right, now from this part, we just apply the, uh, quadratic formula that says states that p is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divide everything by 2a okay now let's substitute the values of a b and c as follows we're going to have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 2 squared minus 4 times 1 okay times c which is actually 5 okay okay now this divided by 2 now we're going to have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 square this is 4 subtract this is 5 times 1 times 4 which is negative 20 divided by 2 okay now from here we're going to have negative 2 
plus or minus 1 divided by, this is 4 subtract 20, this is negative 16 divided by 2, okay? So, and then we proceed, we'll have negative 2 plus or minus. Now, negative 16 can be expressed as, that is, negative 16 can be expressed as 16 times negative 1 divided by 2. So you are saying that negative 16 can be expressed as 16 times negative 1 divided by 2, right? So now we're going to have negative 2 plus or minus. Now the square root of 16, this is, we are saying we have the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1 divided by 2, okay? So now the square, the square root of 16, this is equal to 4, and the square root of negative 1, this is i divided by 2, okay? So that you're going to have negative 2 divided by 2 plus or minus 4i divided by 2, okay? So if you simplify this, you're going to have negative 1 plus or minus 2i, okay? So now, that means that p2 is equal to negative 1 plus 2i and p3, this is equal to negative 1 subtract 2i, okay? Actually, these are two complex. These are two complex roots, eh? all right? These are two complex roots. And that shows that we have three solutions, eh? We have three solutions for our algebra problem, whereby p1 is equal to 2, okay? And p2 is equal to negative 1 plus 2i, okay? And p3, this is negative 1 minus 2i, and where we have seen, these are actually imaginary roots. These, these are imaginary roots, okay? And this is the only real root, okay? But now, our equation has got three solutions. So, thank you for watching, and once more, Thank you for any returning subscriber, and if it is your first time that you watch these videos, consider subscribing. Thank you.